Hey, I'm James from Smoking Dead Barbecue, and today we are making awesome chicken wings on the Kamado Joe. You might have heard, there ain't no thing like a chicken wing. There definitely ain't no thing like these chicken wings. We're gonna bake them so that they come out as if they'd been deep fried with really awesome skin. You're gonna not wanna miss this. To get started, we need to fire up the Kamado Joe. Let's do it. So for today's video, we're going to be using the Kamado Joe Jotisserie, which is the rotisserie unit built right for your Kamado Joe, and the Napoleon basket, which I love because it's got these built-in little clips, and so as this turns, it just tosses whatever you're cooking so that it bases itself. French fries in here are great. I've heard some people have done coffee beans. I haven't tried that yet. I'm looking forward to it, but I, what I have tried and I know was awesome is chicken wings. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get this set up while our Kamado Joe is coming up to temperature. All right, so this setup is pretty simple. We're just gonna dump our wings into the basket. Today I'm gonna use some Meat Church Holy Voodoo rubs since I didn't dry brine these ahead of time. Highly recommend that if you haven't tried it. I'll take you fast forward while we season these up. Okay, those look good. Let me clean up and I'll meet you back out here. All right, so you might be able to see behind me the thermometer is now reading over 600 degrees. And that's not, I got distracted and went away and came back and said, oh no, we actually want some heat in the dome. And the reason we want to do that is that radiant heat will just help bake our chicken wings and render out that fat really nice. And we don't want them exposed to direct flames the whole time, otherwise they'll burn and not cook all the way through. So this is a little trick that I found that just helps render out that fat and skin, makes it nice and crispy, like I said, deep fried in texture without burning them. So we're gonna close our top vent here to the third line, and then the bottom draft door, I'm gonna go to about two or three fingers width. That's about as if we were gonna hold 450 degrees, which is where I'd be happy if most of the time the wings are on, we're cooking at. So let's adjust that meet you back when it's time to throw on the jotisserie. All right, and just like that, about five minutes, we're at 450 degrees, exactly what we're looking for. Let's throw on our jotisserie and install the basket. So you might notice I just leave the screws, the set screws undone because if you try and tighten them, they might be too close. There's not enough clearance and they'll hit the side of your jotisserie. So I don't want to scratch it up and have it hit the side. So I just leave them undone. Once we have it in position, we're good to go. So these are now going to be rendering out their chicken fat over our lump charcoal. Those will caramelize and flavor the chicken with amazing aromas. Let's just center this a little bit better. There we go. Close our dome and we're cooking. All right, our wings are on. Our jotisserie is spinning. We're going to be about 30 minutes or so before I even check these. So we're just sitting at about 410 degrees. So I just gave that a touch more air to the fourth position instead of the third position on the top vent. And we are still about two fingers width on the bottom vent. You get a little bit more airflow with the jotisserie than you do when your dome is closed and the latch is sealed. So you want to just tighten those adjustments up a little bit more than what you would if you were cooking normally. So about 30 minutes, 425, we should be getting pretty close to the internal temperature that we want. Then what we're gonna do is crank the heat with the dome open and let the flames kiss the outside just to tenderize our chicken and get that skin nice and crispy. And then we'll toss them in our buffalo hot sauce and let that caramelize up in the basket as well for another few minutes before we're ready to serve them. All right, welcome back. Just a quick correction to the timing in one of my last comments there is it's 30 minutes total with the dome closed and the dome open. And so you actually wanna set a timer for 15 minutes, check the temperatures, 
and then we're gonna open the dome for the last 15 minutes. I know I said uh, 30. Uh, as soon as I walked away off camera, I thought, wait a second, something about that was not right. So let's check our temperatures, and if we're getting close to about 165 degrees, that's the spot where we want to open the dome and crisp up the skin and slow down the cooking of the chicken, but increase the doneness of the skin. So let's take a look. Oh, those look so good. But well, they're gonna get even better. Let's just stop our doticerie here and find a friend. Okay, 180. 180. One ninety. So we're definitely there. So now I'm going to turn the jotisserie on again, and we're going to leave the dome open. So as that chicken fat renders out, flares up, it'll just start to crisp up the outside of our skin. Chicken is completely done at 165 degrees. You're completely safe. So these are done. But with chicken wings, I actually like a higher temperature. I'm not too concerned with a chicken wing if I see 211 or so degrees, and then they're just bone tender fall apart. Clean the bone is what I was looking to say there, and they're going to be delicious. So we'll crank the heat, give us another 15 minutes to do the skin, and then we're ready to sauce them. All right, so as you can see, our skin is looking awesome. About 10, 15 minutes, we got that crispiness that we're looking for from that big block just kissing the outside of these chicken wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera, and get these off. We're gonna toss them in our buffalo hot sauce and we'll throw them back on at a cooler temp. So I'm gonna close the vents just a little bit while we do this as well just so that sauce can tack up and glaze for about five to 10 minutes. But man, these look good, can't wait. Let's take a look at these. So as you can tell before we sauce that, we've just got some awesome looking chicken wings. So our family all likes buffalo hot, so we're gonna go ahead and season those up. But I just thought I'd show you how this method turns out an incredible looking chicken wing. I know I didn't tell you about the slow-mo, but can you blame me? That looked awesome. All right, let's get these back in the basket and on the Kamado Joe for about a 10 minute spin just to set that sauce. All right, let's see how our wings look after 10 minutes. Oh yeah. Those look perfect. All right, I think it's time to get these off and see how we did. All right, so as you can tell, our wings are done. So I'm just gonna get my high heat gloves on. I'll take you fast forward. We'll turn this off, take everything off, give them one more toss and any leftover sauce that was in our bowl. So you just get a mix of the caramelized sauce with some of that fresh sauce, it's really good. And we're gonna take them in and find out how we did. All right, you made it. Check out how we did. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but these look awesome. Enough talk, let's taste. Get a little bit of blue cheese on there and find out how our skin came out. Mm. I cannot oversell how good these are. So 
I'm about to lose the next 20 minutes in the rest of those chicken wings. I don't think you guys want to see that, but thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button to catch future videos. I'm going to take in the rest of the wings to the family and dig in. Till next time, we'll see you then. Man, those are so good, so good.